Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that recently I've been wearing my hair natural and that is because I feel like I have finally developed a really good routine that allows me to get the same result every time. Whereas before, the reason I didn't really wear my hair natural is because it was sort of a hit or miss. I would either have a really good hair day and I would feel like Shakira, I was bringing that Latin fire, I felt sassy. She make a man want to speak Spanish. Those were the good days. Then there were the days where I would just look like Shakira's poodle if Shakira had a poodle. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. It just would not look good. And for those of you out there who might have the same hair type as me, dry, curly, wavy, frizzy, coarse, you tend to use a lot of products for it to look nice when it air dries naturally. So if you attempt to wear it or just air dry it and wear it naturally and it doesn't look good and it's a fail, it's really hard to then go back and just style it. You almost have to wash your hair all over again. So it's this whole ordeal who's with me on that. <laughs> so I'm gonna be sharing my routine on how I get my hair to naturally air dry like this. I did recently get it cut and uh, colored. I just deepened the color with a gloss. So it's like my natural hair color, just like a fourth darker. Um, and I just trimmed it so it's even wavier than normal because it's really healthy at the moment. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, the first thing I like to do is prep my hair in the shower. And I always like using a smoothing shampoo and conditioner. I'm currently using the smooth shampoo and conditioner, by the way. My primary concern is frizz. With curly and wavy hair, textured or coarse hair comes frizz. So by using a smoothing shampoo and conditioner like this one, by the way, it's really gonna take care of that frizz. It's gonna make your hair more manageable. It's gonna feel more hydrated. It's not necessarily going to straighten your hair. Don't be afraid of that. I have used plenty of other smoothing shampoo and conditioners and I have never gone out of the shower with stick straight hair. I wish that would happen, <laughs> but it doesn't. It still goes back to how it is right now. There's just a lot less frizz. So it always starts with a smoothing shampoo and conditioner. Another thing I like to do while I'm still in the shower is brush my hair out. And I like to do this step when the conditioner is still in my hair because not only does it distribute the conditioner all over, it also helps maintain the curls once you're outside of the shower. So whenever I wear my hair natural like this, I don't brush it once I'm out of the shower. So this is day two or three and I have yet to brush my hair. <laughs> it sounds disgusting, but honestly, it doesn't have any knots in it. And I almost feel like the more it sticks together, the better your curls look. Once you brush it out and it's dry, that's when it starts to look like a poodle and it has more of that poofy look with the no defined curls because you're brushing the curls out. I really love using this Tangle Teaser. I've had it for over a year and this is the thick and curly edition. It makes brushing your hair so easy whether you do it in the shower or out of the shower. But again, if you're gonna air dry it naturally, do it in the shower. Which leads me to my next step, which is the Turby Twist. Definitely invest in a microfiber towel if you have frizzy hair or any hair type really should use a microfiber towel. It just helps to dry your hair a lot faster without creating frizz and it just gives you a nicer finish. So once I've brushed out my hair in the shower and I've also rinsed out the conditioner, I don't flip my hair upside down or my head upside down and then put it in the towel. I lay the towel flat, which is why whenever I start my tutorials, you see it's kind of like reverse. It's not like how you normally put a towel on your head. I do it this way and then twist it back. And the reason for that is because when I undo the towel, my hair is still lying flat. It hasn't been tossed upside down. So the curls again, just lay as they normally would versus then having to mess um, with adjusting the curl and brushing your hair again. Brush it in the shower, rinse the conditioner and put it in a turby twist, lying flat. Got it? Good. My next secret weapon is R&B Hair Moisturizer by Lush. And I use this product two different ways. The first is in the shower when my hair is still soaking wet before putting on the turby twist, so after conditioner. So I will still condition my hair like normal and then I'll take a giant glob of this. I probably use too much of this, but I love it. It smells really good. I take a giant glob of this, put it in my hair, distribute it all over and then put the turby twist on. The other way I use this is once I take the turby twist off, I apply it all over and just really work it into every single part of my hair. Because it's a moisturizer, it just gives your hair that really luscious sort of wet look without it being crunchy or greasy. That's what drew me to this product in the first place. I went to a Lush and one of the girls helping me had the most beautiful curly hair that looked 
like it would have been crunchy, like I had a gel or a mousse in it. And then when I touched her hair, it was just so soft and it smelled good. And she's like, oh, it's R&B hair moisturizer. And I'm like, wait, you can get that really nice, kind of a wet curl look without it feeling crunchy. That's a miracle. Most products leave your hair really crunchy and stiff. And I've been in love with this ever since. But overall, this is a really great product for any hair type as a leave-in conditioner. I can even put some on right now. Um, when I wear my hair curly, I can put this in my hair when it's dry or wet. And it just, see like this area right now, it's kind of flat. I do this. And it just further defines the curls. Also, when I texted my hairdresser, I asked him what products he would recommend for curly hair. And he said, anything creamy, which R&B is definitely creamy. And I completely agree. Anything creamy is going to define your curls. So see how now it has more uh, of that defined curl versus before how it was kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but this looks way better. You could technically leave it here, but I have one final secret weapon for my curly hair. My final secret weapon is, which I'm sure a lot of you have been staring at throughout this entire video, and you were probably wondering what the heck is this back here. This is raw, I don't know if it's organic, unrefined shea butter. You might recognize it from my skincare video. Honestly, this might be what some consider nature's cure, the best natural product, all purpose, cuticle oil, body lotion. I use it as an eye cream. And now my recent discovery is to use it in my hair. It, really, it works so good and it's so cheap. I bought mine on Amazon. I think I got a pound of it for around 10 or something dollars. I might be wrong, but still, it was really affordable because this will last you a really long time, especially if you keep it in the fridge. I will make sure to link it down below. And it starts off as a solid like this. And what I do is I take a little pinch like so. And when you work it into your hands, it'll melt down to an oil. So it looks like that. And this is incredible in hair. Even Kyle has started using it. It's like a moisturizing hair gel, all natural. It's just, so good. I mean, look at it. Now just... Hey babe, do we have tortillas? Babe? Wanna make a quesadilla? I'm filming. But anyway, after that interruption, now if you just rewind this video to the intro and look at my hair then and now with the shea butter and also the R&B in it, you can see the curls are just way more defined in that area that had like some frizz and something funky was going on. <laughs> the curls are back. It's a great way to revive your curls as you go longer without washing your hair, without having um, to brush it or add gel or anything like that. Raw and refined shea butter and R&B hair moisturizer are a lifesaver. So again, from there, that's pretty much it. I let it air dry. My hair is so thick that it takes almost all day to dry. It sounds crazy, but I think I did it on Snapchat one day and it took me eight or 12 hours for my hair to completely dry. Mainly it's the back middle part that stays um, moist. I don't like to use a hair dryer with a diffuser because I feel like the diffuser further makes me look like a poodle. It has never worked for me. So air drying is the best option. And once it's dry, that's all there is to it. I just touch it up as the days go on with that shea butter and R&B. And that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you will attempt to wear your hair naturally curly, wavy, or just, you know, whatever your hair type is, if you will attempt it this summer. I think it makes getting ready super quick and easy. Um, I will be wearing my hair like this more often. The only thing is for me, I don't like wearing a full face of glam with this hair. I just feel like wearing natural makeup with natural hair. It just gives me that vibe. Whenever I put a full face of glam on and I have curly hair on, it just, I'm not used to it. It feels like a lot is going on in this region. So I like to keep the makeup natural, but I will be wearing my hair like this more often. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this hair tutorial. Like, share, and subscribe. Liking is the same as giving it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.